So in more recent times, especially given that this legend just actually got a new skin, we're going to be talking about good old Azoth. Azoth, solid stats, and I think an extremely good weapon combo, and honestly, probably one of the most unrealized signature kits in the game. Azoth to me is just concerning because at least, you know, at my level player, when you look at top level play, you don't see too much Azoth. I know, um, I believe a player in EU named Zapoppy, he's played Azoth previously. And whenever I've seen that guy play Azoth, the character looks nuts. Blazy in the US and a long, long time ago, even Boomy won his first, I believe it was his first offline event with Azoth. I think it was uh, Brawlhalla's like, it was CEO Dreamland, the first one Brawlhalla was at. And the character has not gotten any less crazy since. I mean, sure, they've like made changes to Axe and Bow, but the character, when you look at what the character's capable of between the SIGs and uh, just literally the strength potential of Bow, the kill power that you may have and damage building ability of Axe, it's nuts. I think a lot of people right now are like sleeping on bow just because they saw it got nerfed a little bit and they're like oh my gosh like that was you know like why am i even bothering playing bow when i could okay well and obviously of course when i gotta make a video making a case for azoth that six gonna drop um we'll get to that in a bit but yeah i feel like a lot of people overlook bow now just because they're like well okay what's the point when i could play gauntlets guitars you know the usual and um it just feels like it's better in the current meta um, I mean, they're not bad choices, but I think bow, dude, you better hope gauntlets and guitars don't get hit big time, or they, like, don't, bu like, rebuff bow, because this weapon is so good, uh, and paired with axe, another weapon right now that I think is, you know, axe, I think, is a weapon that's just super easy, and when you pair it with a weapon like bow, that offers you a lot of mobility, uh, a lot of, like, different options, and it, I think it contrasts well with axe. That's really, really nice. Like, both... Like, the damage building on Azoth, I think, is just second to none. Um, and then, going beyond that, the signatures of Zoth. When you look at the signatures that he has... Alright, sick, you saved me. Uh, his signatures are just, like, insanely good for zoning. Now, say what you want about Azoth maybe in, like, ones. But I think this legend in twos has got to be one of the nastiest characters you can possibly play you're able to target switch so much with bow you can rip out like bow side sigs uh and cover so much of the map you know alleviate pressure from your teammate the follow-up potential is pretty ridiculous given the fact that depending on what sig you connect you could like get an extremely early kill um, and that's another thing that's important to talk about Azoth. Don't feel bad taking speed stance, you know, even though it does lower his strength. And also, you could go down to four decks and gain an extra defense, I believe. Um, but it's not really worth it, I would say, just given the fact that um, speed is pretty important on a legend, especially if you're going to play this guy in 1v1s now. You could probably get away with it in 2v2s, but... Yeah, I would say I would say speed stance is probably the best for Zoth. And I've run both stances for a while now. But it's just, it's insane what you can do with Zoth. Azoth also, going back to what I was saying about the damage building, it just feels like he's able to build such an insane flow. And even though his signatures don't really move him around a ton, like sure on Axe, um, it's a little different. But like the bow sigs, when you use the bow sigs, it doesn't feel like you're going to lose any momentum when, you know, you hit a string and then you decide to end it with, like, a side stick. It doesn't feel like that at all because you're able to get out of the signature so quickly. Like, you're able to act basically as the signature's finishing up. And these signatures linger, by the way. They, they don't just, like, go out and there's extra animation. No. These signatures stay. And when they hit, they hit hard. I don't remember the exact damage values, but all I know is that... Um, when it comes to Zoth and like his signatures, that's probably one of his best attributes. I mean, look, it's so, like, this thing's so big, and you can get some pretty whack angles. You can get, like, basically any angle in the book, and depending on how you hit them, um, you know, you're gonna be able to get a super early kill, but like right there, example, hitbox kind of lingering a little longer. Um, but yeah, also, I'm gonna try and do it next game, but that signature can hit, straight up just hit through the stage, and I don't know why that hasn't been patched. It obviously has to do with like line of sight, uh, which is a finicky thing in this game, but let's see if I can hit it next game. All right, so let's see if we can get it through the platform. I'm not gonna fish for it super hard, but 
if the player is gonna be like rushing me down and stuff it should be a lot easier but yeah I uh, personally like if you guys are wondering well why am I making a video on Zoth I mean first of all well got to make content on something second of all I do actually have plans to possibly play this character um, I think if I do play him it would be mainly in twos uh, we'll see though I just wanted like I've never had an axe pick really like axe has been the weapon that I don't really play much I mean cannon's been like that too but Axe is a weapon, like, there's a lot of options I miss out on because I don't play much Axe, like, actually in tournament. So, I think, you know what, I wanted to play Bow again. Kaya, Kaya's not really that great to me. So, I figured, let's go with basically what I kind of see as this patch is Kaya, uh, which is, you know, which is Azoth. Crazy Sigs, the weapons, both really, really good still. I just stopped playing Kaya, just simply because with Kaya, Kaya had the issue where... They nerfed both the weapons at the same time. So unfortunately, Kaya doesn't feel as broken as she once did. Even though the signatures, yes, they did stay all the same. I think another big reason why I'm not really considering Kaya, uh, even though, like, I did say, right, the, both weapons were nerfed. I'm still playing Bow, though, which is obviously one of the weapons of Kaya. The big reason is that I think Azoth just has a lot more kill power. Um, I don't want to say a lot, like, I made it sound pretty extreme. He has more kill power between what you can do with some of the axe sigs and just uh the bow sigs come on it's hard to argue against the guy like maybe there is an argument to be made that kaya does have more but i feel like it is a very limited few who would be making that argument um i mean just like look at that like that sig this sig i think is super underrated people don't realize what you can do with it uh like you literally will kill on orange on some maps just because the lunge will send you so far that if you can like figure out, okay, I can use this here off a of read, I can use it, you know, here, it'll catch them. Like right here, this person's landing, let's use it. It's gonna send them like stupid far. Also this sig, uh, not only is it massive and has a lingering hitbox, yeah, it's gonna like, it's gonna smoke your opponent. It's gonna send them literally into the nether realm and like, I don't know, yellow. Maybe that's, maybe that's a little much, but like, look at that guy. He decided to throw his weapon, fool. Straight up foolish choice. If that had a better angle, I'm telling you right now, if that had a better angle, it would have killed. It's just, you just gotta get like the, the side angle. It has so much range too. Like you're able to like poke over ledge with ease. What's this guy doing? Well, well, the Mirage tried. I'll give him that much. Oh, and sometimes, you know, people, they'll be like, oh, okay, you're gonna spam that? Let's just go under, or let's go over. They can't go under unless they can like, dig now i mean with that new taunt imagine if you could actually dig in brawlhalla anyways off topic but um yeah 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 don't really have much else to say about zoth i mean i'll play another game or two it's been hard to like it's been hard to play these games because people literally keep dcing i've had like three games not where I, people either dc or they like sd and i'm just like oh okay so that was like three seconds long of a match 30 seconds long of a match now what like, I, I feel like I've recorded at least, like, eight matches at this point. But we'll see what makes the final cut. Um, to you guys, it won't matter, I guess. That's the biggest thing. <laughs> to you guys, it literally will be, like, no different. All right. You know, D-Light Recovery. And... Oh, uh, dodged, but it doesn't matter, apparently. You know what? I got an idea. They're going to jump, so I'm going to do I'm gonna do them dirty. Read them. Okay, dodged away. Never mind. They're too good. Wait. Okay, way too good. Way too good for me. They were they were seeing something else in the future, I suppose. That D-Sig was quite the read, though. I'll give it to them. They tried it. That was a nice little string. Now that we've gotten all this talk about Azoth, let's just go beast mode with him. Let's play him. Let's see what we can do with him. The person we're playing against also seems to be, seems to be pretty good, so I'm interested in uh, seeing what I can do to them with my Zoth. My Zoth is still pretty fresh. Uh... I'm gonna do what I did like with Kaya with him where I basically just kind of I just played the legend a lot and I got better with the character you know who'd have thought that that's how you improve with a legend <laughs> putting in work uh, kind of a new concept I guess okay oh yeah at the beginning of the video you saw this d sig drop this d sig over edge the d sig is insane by the way but over edge like when you hit him like this if they're like peeking, 
it won't pop them up and then drag them over. It'll it'll be weird and it'll just not work, um, which is kind of unfortunate, I guess. Uh, yeah, it's it's just dummy unfortunate because the sig's so good and you can't really completely utilize it as an edge guard tool. Now, if they are like fully over the edge, you're gonna connect and then you're gonna kill them uh, really early, but. It's just a matter of if you can. Also, right there, I feel like I could have hit him with it, but I, I don't know. I kind of biffed it. Sig also, I feel like, is less punishable than people may realize. Same with that. I feel like the whole kit in general. People think Azoth. I feel like he looks slow in animation, but in reality, this guy is just such an absolute, like, beast. Okay, there we go. Also, bow lockdown on edge is crazy. I mean, you go from this, you know, you can jump there. Oh, back up. You know, hit him with a little, little D-Sig. D-Sig's actually, like, a pretty solid move. A lot of people don't like um, the backing up moves. I think D-Sig, you know what? D-Sig does a pretty solid job at, like, being a backup move. And there we go. Oh, my gosh. Bow ground pound will forever be bow ground pound. That thing's a literal... It, it, it is what canon ground pound aspires to be. That thing just sends you so far. But we're going to call it there. I hope that was long enough. By the way... Uh, the stances I think you should run on Azoth or like experiment with if you're that much of a freak Maybe you could look at this eight strength though. I don't think it's needed for Azoth at all um, Speed I think five speed is pretty important speed is a good stat But if you feel like you can deal with the slower speed then I would just say you know Go all out get the defense stance and become just an absolute tank like get your bones made out of adamantium Just become Wolverine and uh, yeah rock this but either way. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you around Peace, guys.